Welcome back to my channel, this is Andy in Singapore. If you haven't done so, I'd like to remind you to click the like and subscribe buttons because I've got new videos uploaded every week just for you. In today's video, we're going to do a review of this RZE Vela 38 on my desk. And before I start this video review, I'd like to share with you some background information on RZE watches. Now, RZE is a local brand operating right out of Singapore. That's where I come from, right? Andy in SG means Andy in Singapore and they specialize in titanium watches. The aim of the company is to provide watches that are built for adventure and this RZE Vela 38 on review today, as you can see from the overall design and the styling, it is obviously a feel watch and it comes in at a 38 millimeters case size. So launched sometime around August, September this year, the Vela 38 comes in six different colorways in terms of dial color options. So in addition to the full titanium case build, all RZE watches are also coated with the proprietary coating for anti-scratch. And as a result, this gives the watches, you know, a hardness of 1200 Vickers. All right, so I think that's about four times the hardness of a stainless steel watch. The Vela 38 goes for US dollars 299. You can definitely get this one off rzewatches.com and all colors are still available at the time of this video review. And now with the lens zoom in just a little bit, I'm going to share with you more on the specifications of the Vela 38. As the model name implies, it's got a case size of 38 millimeters. It's got a total thickness of 11.5 millimeters. That's measuring from the base of the case back to the top of the flat sapphire crystal, which has an AR coating on the inside. Lug width on the Vela 38 is 20 millimeters. So this is going to be yet another a strap monster or a strap model. So this watch here on review is mounted on RZE's Hexaflex rubber strap. More on that later, all right? So this is a really great rubber strap. I'm gonna spend some time in this video to talk about this strap because it's just wonderful. And we've also got a very short L to L measurement. This one comes in at 45.5 millimeters. So if you have a smaller wrist like myself, I think no problem at all, right? Anything under 48 millimeters is definitely wearable. Just some more measurements not listed on their website. This one here has got a crown size of 6.3 millimeters, which is nicely nerd, providing very good grip. And then finally, it's got a crystal size of 30.3 millimeters. So in terms of proportion, when it comes to crystal size to case size, I think this one here has a really good design. Uh, the proportions here are really good. So this watch being a titanium case build, it comes in at only 58 grams. Uh, that is, we're talking about the watch head alone. So without the straps, really lightweight for, you know, a watch that is not plastic. Powering the Vela 38 is the venerable NH38 movement. So this one here has no ghost date position. So many micro brands, they, you know, simply pop in an NH35 movement and get that slightly annoying go state position, but no such problem because the NH38 is the no date cousin of the NH35. And again, you can see the effort that RZE has put in because I think for ordering small batches of movements, obviously the cost is going to be driven up. And to round up the section on specifications, the Vela 38 has got a water resistance of 100 meters, thereby making this a very good and useful Gada watch. All right, go anywhere, do anything. Great case design, great case build, good size, and very good anti-scratch coating. So this watch here can be your daily wearer, can go anywhere to accompany your adventures. So let's spend some time to talk about the case design and the overall build quality of this watch. Okay, so I am loving all these facets and angular shapes found all around this watch here, right? There are no curves or anything like that, but it works really well, okay? This faceted and angled shape and sides, they work really well and it suits this few watch vibes and looks. The entire watch case also has a brush finish and I particularly love this one because for many lower end titanium watches, you're getting the blasted or that dull look to it. Full marks to RZE for doing this in a brush finish, which sort of makes the watch looks uh, a little bit classier, a little bit more high-end. So the crystal here does sit a little bit proud 
of this bezel here. All right, again, everything here is brush finished and even the bezel here, I'm liking the profile because it's got a flatter profile. And moving on to this strap here, all right, the Hexa Flex rubber strap. Okay, so to be honest, this strap gave me a big surprise, all right, a pleasant surprise because, wow, okay, this is a really good effort by a micro brand. Normally, they would just go with an OEM strap, something that's from Jelong or something like that. But this is different, okay? So it has the RZE logo or signature. It's got this very unique inner lining here and this texturing. And you can see from the side profile here, they even have the logo here sort of edge onto the sides. Hexaflex, okay? This is a fantastic rubber strap and it doesn't cost a lot, okay? So if you're ordering any RZE watch, I would say please, you know, click on the upgrade option for the rubber strap because this strap is really worth it. So it's got a really nice design. It has this center strip going on, very good thickness to it as well. The design really fits the sporty nature of the RZE watches, all right? So I would not, hesitate to buy this strap and fix it on my other micro brand dive watches or anything like that. It's just a fantastic strap, okay? So I wanna show you the strap that comes stock with the Vela 38. So this is a really nice NATO strap, all right? So it also has titanium hardware, but you know, I'm not such a big fan of NATO straps overall because they sort of add on to the profile and the thickness of any watch you, you put it on. Uh, despite it being a single pass. So for me, all right, the Vela 38 has to be on the rubber strap. And now let's move on and talk about the dial design of the Vela 38. So this has got a very standard, typical, a uh, few wash look and design with all the Arabic numerals, as well as the 24 hour inner track. So I would say this looks, you know, no different from all the Hamilton khakis or some of the glycine, type of a uh, combat feel watch out there. But this style design here does have its own uh, design flair because if you look at it, on first sight, you will think that this is a sterile dial, but just take a closer look at the six o'clock marker here. Right underneath the Arabic six o'clock number, you are seeing the logo. All right, so this is the RZE logo and it's also fully loomed along with all the hour marks. So let's have a look at the loom shot over here. So after a quick blast with my UV torch, you can see in terms of loom brightness here, it does really well. We've even got this logo here at the six o'clock, the R logo, which is loom, all right? So, but then again, due to all these small loom plots, very slim and very tiny dot markers, I think in terms of loom intensity and brightness, the Vela 38 tends to suffer just a little bit. And let's have a quick look at the wrist shot of the RZE Vela 38 on my wrist. My wrist is about 17 cm. As you can see, it fits so well. Really nice here with the rubber strap and it also has a really nice bespoke buckle. All right, so I'm pretty sure this is again not an OEM part. So all around fantastic wearability and fit for the Vela 38. And now let's have a size comparison between the Vela 38 and the Zin 556. Both watches are around 38 to 38.5 millimeters and they are in the Gada watch category. So you can wear these two watches every day, go anywhere, do anything. They just fit any occasion. Today, both watches are on their straps. All right, so the Zin is on an Atom strap. Fantastic sailcloth strap. This one here is on the fantastic rubber strap. You can see that they are very similar in terms of size, although the Vela 38 here does seem a little bit bigger due to the flare outs here at the case. And even in terms of thickness, they are quite similar, I think around the 11 to 11.5 millimeters mark. So in summary, I'd like to say that the Vela 38 is a really good value for money type of feel watch. You're getting really good build materials, right? So titanium with coating, anti-scratch or scratch resistant coating. And if you add on $30 or 39 US dollars, you're getting this great, great, fantastic rubber strap, which I think, you know, overall is a really good combination, okay? I'm also pretty sure that fans out there will be asking or, or protesting to have 
a full titanium bracelet for this watch but do bear in mind that if that ever happens it's going to drive up uh, the prices quite a bit so usd 299 i think if they do come up with a bracelet it's going to uh, cost you another 130 to 150 dollars so there you have it that was my full review of the rze vela 38 feel watch i would say it's a really uh, well specced out and well designed feel watch for us dollars 299 so if you like this watch if you like this video please like and subscribe to my channel i'll see you soon for more watch reviews this is andy in singapore Bye-bye.